The fate of a former Florida State college student is now in the hands of a Tampa jury. Nicole Nachman is accused of shooting her mom and stepfather in their Carrollwood home four years ago. Our Carson Chambers joins us live in downtown Tampa. Carson, I know how long has the jury been deliberating at this point? And guys, we're just getting word that both uh, attorney teams have reassembled up in courtroom on the fifth floor. So we're not sure what that means quite yet, but we're keeping an eye on things. Jurors started delivering just uh, deliberating just before one o'clock today. 25-year-old Nicole Nachman faces two counts of first-degree murder and a maximum of life in prison without parole if she were to be convicted is an environment that was riddled with abuse, primarily psychological abuse, which impacted Nicole Nachman and led to her developing a severe mental illness. And this is not the work of someone who did not know what they were doing or the consequence, the result of what they were doing or the wrongness. This was a this was the work of a person with a mindset to rid their life of a burden for them. And prosecutors argue Nachman, an FSU student at the time, planned the murders of her mom and stepdad in August of 2015. They say Nachman shot both of them, Robert and Murian Deans, with a 380 pistol at the family's Carrollwood home, then drove to Tallahassee to her school dorm. Her defense attorneys are using an insanity defense, saying that her mom physically and psychologically abused her for years and that she suffered from severe mental illness, including schizophrenia, and eventually suffered a psychotic break. Again, we're getting word that both attorney teams are back up in the courtroom. We're keeping an eye on things as to what that may mean, uh, whether it's a verdict or whether they're going to send jurors home for the evening or perhaps sequester them. We'll keep you uh, updated live. We are live in Tampa. I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.